Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request, please pray for YouTuber Jenny Apple. She is dying from lung cancer. Uh, PB's parents died. Pray for peace and comfort for her. Pray for Fauzia. She has an unspoken request. Pray for Jackie Howard. She has an unspoken request. Pray for Ethan. He's going through some tough times. Uh, Barbara and Destiny have an unspoken request. Pray for the families uh, families of those lost in terrible earthquake. In, I guess in a terrible earthquake. Uh, pray for Michaelia. Mac uh, she had a terrible accident. Accident. Okay. All right, and our scripture of the day comes from Galatians 6, 2 through 10. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are, are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Each one should test their own actions. They, then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. Nevertheless, the one who receives instruction in the word should share all good things with the instructor. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Amen. All right, and our devotion today is entitled Persistent Pizza. At age 12, Ibrahim arrived in Italy from West Africa, not knowing a word of Italian, struggling with a stutter, and forced to face anti-immigrant put-downs. None of that stopped the hard-working young man who, in his 20s, opened a pizza shop in Trento, Italy. His little business won over doubters to be listed as one of the top 50 pizzerias in the world. His hope was then to help feed hungry children on Italian streets. So he launched a pizza charity. By expanding a Napoleon tradition where customers buy an extra coffee for those in need to pizza, he also urges immigrant children to look past prejudice and not give up. Such persistence recalls Paul's lessons to the Galatians on continually doing good to all. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up, Paul continued. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Abraham, an immigrant who faced prejudice and language barriers, created an opportunity to do good. Food became a bridge leading to tolerance and understanding. Inspired by such persistence, we too can look for opportunities to do good. God then gets the glory as he works through our steady trying. How does your persistence glorify God? In your life, what deserves more godly persistence and loving charity from you? When I compare giving up, dear God, inspire me to endure in you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.